Alright, good morning everyone. This is a quick guide on how to get the Navy and Golden Revolver in GTA Online. Of course, this is an old feature with more than enough videos on it, but I've made this more for purpose to go with my money guide, so I recommend watching that. But either way, first, let's get the Navy Revolver. The reward for this weapon also includes $250,000, which is a nice bonus. All four of the first clue locations can be done in any order, but for the first one, I went to the biker diner on the highway, as you can see in the video. Once you're here, you want to go around the back to what I believe is an outside toilet with a bloody handprint in the door. Once you have the clue found, the next one will be at this farmhouse located at Grapeseed beside the mini airport with the paper planes you can steal. See him again, go up to this clue and press the button to check it out. This one is a machete covered in more blood. Perfect for the clickbait YouTubers to tell everyone that this is a clue, GTA 6 is going to be located in the UK. All of this can be done extremely quick by the way if you use a flying vehicle or simply do the teleport glitch, which I go over in my PvP guide. The next clue is actually located beside Trevor's airfield by some bin bags and tires where you will find the famous hand from the Adams family. Life does get tough in Hollywood when beauty standards have got so high and this is the next clue towards getting the grey revolver. I'm not going to lie though, I would have thought that in this area it would be normal to find body parts with people like Trevor and the meth addict gangs all living here, but nevertheless secure that clue. The fourth clue is located at this location on the map on the side of a big pie building with the writing can you find me. Well bozo, knowing you left the biggest pieces of evidence at four different parts of the map, I'd say it won't be too hard to find you or not. Turning back around the graffiti disappears too, you must have heard me flaming him for being the worst serial killer. He had to like quickly run over and scrape off the graffiti as well. Man, he's getting on to me. Okay, now for the fifth and last clue. For this one, it can spawn in any of the four locations, so go to each one until you find a van. Four locations include at the right side of the map, off the highway, I think it's beside um, Humane Labs, like close to there, but I'll show you here in the video. It'll be between the big red barrel and the cliff on the left. The next location may be at the side of the train tracks beside Montgardo. If it's here, you'll pretty much see it straight away as it's out in the open and it's the side with the wooden planks on the floor. If it's not here, then further down this main road towards the city, you can check in a repair train tracks that go onto the main road as it can also spawn here. The final location and where the clue spawned for me is inside a forest by the river at the Rotten Canyon as you can see in the map here. The fan is full of various fun items at the edge of the land with its doors wide open like the 2am incognito hentai window on Lester's laptop. It's actually a pretty cool clue that I wish we could drive about in or customize it to be our own and put it in our garage but go up to the van and activate it so your character checks it out. It's clear the killer has too much machetes in his arsenal. Once finding this clue, you'll get an unknown text from the killer that is threatening you because we stuck our nose in his evidence. You can delete the text and stop here, turn off the video if you don't want to smoke, but if you want the grey revolver, you'll have to go to Blaine County between 7pm and 5am, as this will be the only time when he come after you. Head to Blaine County and beat yourself pretty much so the killer will try to catch you lacking. To be fair with him, I was looking to keep him alive to keep him a sort of a circus animal like a farm for clips, but his machete done more damage damage I fought. If you see in the video he done like a quarter of my health so I bust him open with a gold plated hand cannon boys. Once you kill him the revolver will be dropped. Simply pick it up and congrats you're now the owner of a badass looking revolver. It has various blood markings all over it which looks sick and getting 50 headshots with the weapon will give you $250,000. It can be done by the way on either players or NPCs so a fast way to get this done is to go into a survival game mode and getting all headshots. Enjoy! Now onto the gold revolver, the western James Bond, the Call of Duty pre-diamond camo, the rich kid's water gun, the golden revolver. To actually activate this hunt, you'll need to stay in a lobby online for over half an hour or so until you get this email about a treasure hunt, which will show you a random picture of where the treasure is, but luckily the game puts a massive gold circle on your map to show you where it is, so head to that location. By the way, yours might be different than mine, so just, just go to yours. When looking for the clue, you'll hear bells get louder as you get closer. But as far as I know, it'll always be somewhere visible that's on the picture. Mine was this somehow dry piece of paper on the side of rocks by an ocean that is saying that the treasure will never be found, even though hundreds of thousands of people have got it by now, but we'll not talk about that. To activate this clue, and this will trigger three more clues that need to be investigated, once again shown by smaller golden circles on the map. Go to each of these in any order to get the bloody shovel, which is the one I want to first. Yeah, I know, more obvious evidence left lying around is getting out of hand now, honestly. The next clue I went to is the empty revolver box. 
by a tree, which by the way, did you know this tree is actually a tree? I said tree too many times, but you can find it in Red Dead Redemption 2. The exact same branches, leaves, everything, which is pretty cool. But I think the real mystery is how the guy that found this even noticed that. I'm pretty sure if you show me a tree from my garden in real life, I wouldn't even recognize it. Never mind one from GTA that you've seen in Red Dead 2, but respect. The third clue is inside this mini cave on the mountain, hidden by some suspiciously planted bushes. Inside you will find me at 5 a.m on a Sunday morning with life-threatening signs of alcohol poisoning, various dead brain cells and the will to harvest my own lungs for hydration. This is the final clue though so so I think the gold revolver besides having to wait for the email is 10 times faster than the grey revolver. Once you get this clue you'll be notified on your map of the location of the treasure shown by a gold treasure chest so make your way over there rubber. This crime scene will have a chest in the middle of two boys that decided to kill each other over who got to keep the treasure I'm guessing. It's sort of like the Lord of the Rings a story of GT yeah. The revolver being the ring and then us now being the golem. Same as the great revolver, get 50 headshots with this and you'll get 250k straight to your bank. Going into survival again for the quickest way. I went into the I went into the, the ballas one since it's all close quarters and the NPCs are almost brain dead the first few rounds. This also unlocks this weapon in Red Dead Redemption 2. For those of you still hanging in there in that forgotten game, I, I salute you. I do want to come back but there's just nothing to do but just keep hanging in there. But that's it for the video. It's just a quick one. Like, subscribe and turn on notifications for the finest Los Santos content. Until next time, Spartans.